Hey, what's going on, everybody? I want to make this quick and what have you and stuff. I mean, this is title, you know, the, the coming in trucking is not fun for fun and what have you and stuff. And everybody knows that and what have you and stuff. But sometimes I use this fake phrase when I talk about relationships, you know, because I have three, three college degrees. I have a social and behavioral science and double majoring in sociology and in psychology because I was going to be a counselor, but I had to get my master's degree. And I said, the hell with that. I'm being a truck driver. I don't want to get my master's degree. And then I got to go get my LC. And then I might as well just want to get my PhD. And I'm too old. The older you get, the more you accumulate things. The more you accumulate things, you're obliged to it. And, and it greatly decreases your chances of you being flexible because you have the job. You're old. You're taking care of your kids and all that kind of stuff. So I'm the hell with that. I'm, I'm being flatbed. I'm glad I did it. But going to flatbed and what having stuff is not all what you cake it to be. It's not here for fun. Your number one priority is to um, do your job. But, again, you, there's a honeymoon phase. I speak, speak, speak about this thing when I talk about relationships. What I mean by a honeymoon stage in, in relation, relative to trucking is just the same way. When you get into it, when you meet a girl and what have you and stuff, your, your emotions intensified, your intimacy. I mean, you, you go, you're, you're cupcaking or you want to rub ankles all goddamn night and what have you and stuff. You, you, you're liking the girl and all that kind of stuff. But after a while, when that honeymoon starts to diminish and what have you, in reality about that person who you feel that this is a person I'm going to invest my emotion mentally and physically with, then you become self-critical about each other. When you become self-critical about each other, you, you're integral about each other understanding each other and then you start seeing things that you might feel that's detrimental or counterproductive in your thing so you got to make a determinate thing either i'll be with that person if that person can modify or change it then it's worth the risk or the investment you know saying that this person will eventually emerge and be um, beneficial for the two same thing with relationships i mean this trucking people come in here i come in here with the drive uh, with the passion, the commitment, and the enthusiasm to come in this thing. And I, I always try to tell myself to put myself in check because you always have that pre-expectation of what you think it is. So when I came in here, I saw, I, I was being very self -con very conscious about myself because when I go in there, I'm going to be motivated. Then all of a sudden, you got to deal with the solitude, the potential risk of this job, uh, being away from home, dealing with isolation and solitude, and all the other um, um, attributes that come with this damn job and what have you and stuff. But then I start checking. I said, man, you know, and then when I got, I'm still, I still have it, you know what I'm saying? But there was guys that see me on Facebook and what have, because I post videos on Facebook that I don't put on YouTube and they see it, they view it and they, they have, and it kind of shape influenced them that they don't know the misconception um, that they think is fun. Or they just say, well, Gary's having fun and he's making buku money and all that kind of stuff. And then when they get in, because there's been four guys I've got in and three of them, man, they got into it um, and it ain't nothing what they was caked to be. You know, these are young guys. They ain't got kids. They ain't got family, what have you, because they're away from home and what have you and stuff. And the stress, the dealing with the um, issues that will arise during a truck, it's stressful. And it's not the money that people think it is. You know what I'm saying? You make, I'm making more money, way more money than I was prior to becoming a flatbed. You know, but on average, it's mediocre. It's decent. You know what I'm saying? You have the potential of making very good money, but you got to put in labor. You know what I'm saying? Like I tell everybody, a dog that shit fast ain't going to last long. You got to put in work. Being in this bad boy a year or two, you ain't. I ain't made it to me. I still got a, I, I came a long way, but I got a far way to go. I look at my past. I don't dwell in my past, but I look at my past to see how far I came. So don't come in this thing thinking that you're coming here rich. There's one guy that came in this company, what have you. He got this damn job, and he wants to throw gold teeth in his damn mouth. You know what I'm saying? And that just reflects or profess to me or indicates this person has a level. He may be one of the coolest street dude he is. But he, he some of his tools and what have his priorities that he wasn't maturing. This guy's my age. I'm 44 years old. Yeah, they real. You know what I'm saying? I hung around the streets. I've been in trouble, been locked up and all that kind of stuff. But you got to trim the fat around your waistline. There are people my age that might be real, but they're not honorable. They 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 mean real, but they're not they're reactionary. But they're not proactive in their decisions. They allow little things to diminish them. Like me, a person cussing in line with me. Ain't nothing I can goddamn do about it. Bitching and whining ain't gonna make no good about it. So uh, but back to trucking. You come in the truck and it's not here for fun. Those are accolades and what have you and stuff. You know. Uh, those are the benefits. Those are the incentives. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's stressful out here. You know what I'm saying? To me, it's worth the stress because overall, what I'm getting out of it and what I'm putting in, I'm receiving more than what I put in. You see what I'm saying? Now, the money is very decent. What I'm doing make is very decent for me. The job that I do, because I like to work. Anybody that knows me personally, I like to work. I'm a cockeyed optimistic. 
Now, if you think you're going to come in here rich, you might as well throw that between two slices of bread, throw Miracle Whip on that bad boy, and easily consume that kind of crap. Because you, you can't throw shit on, on sugar on shit and will take two week old spaghetti and think you could transform that in lasagna. The mind is trucking. This is work, 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 work. And I'm going to tell you, flatbed ain't for everybody. You know what I'm saying? It ain't. It ain't for everybody. I've seen so many people come in this damn thing with enthusiasm. When they do it for a while, they start bitching and whining. I'm talking about not the ones that had a legitimate hey, bitch and whine over the small shit. And then all of a sudden, they become habitual. Then when they become habitual, they become repulsive. And then that's all their their optics is, is negative, negative, negative. And then the smallest minute shit that comes, they arise, they overreact. And then they're intoxicated with negativity and overreaction. And then they look at the trucking business and then boom. You know what I'm saying? So, truck this thing, you got to do your job. It ain't easy psychologically. It's more psychologically than it is physical. All that work being in the snow and all that. But I got to get out of here and what have you. You're not going to make all that damn money. Perhaps in the future you will because you'll see one peak. You'll get on one peak and then you say, damn, I need to motherfucking expand myself. My ambition is waned. And then you'll see, start seeing other peaks arise. And, of course, when you go to that other peak that you accomplish one peak, you got to start at the bottom. And you got to work, labor, labor. A dog that shit fast don't last long. Peace. I'm out of here. Too weird to live, too unique to die. Don't be real. Be honorable. There's a difference, all right? I'm out here like the breeze through the trees when I blow, I'm taking all the leaves. Peace.